show me show me assignment number four um, which is page 341 in the book number 16 suppose you were teaching students about least common multiples and you only have the following examples uh, to illustrate the concept 4 and 7 3 and 10 5 and 12 8 and 9 what misconceptions about least common multiples might the students develop explain why what other kinds of examples should the students see Describe some examples that you think are good and explain why you think they're good. If you were to use just the examples of 4 and 7, 3 and 10, 5 and 12, get a little worse there, and 8 and 9, you would discover these to be your multiples for 4 and 7. It would be uh, 1, 2, and 4, obviously. And for 7, only 1 and 7. Sorry. For 3 and 10, it would be 1 and 3, and 2, 5, and 10. For 5 and 12, it would be 1 and 5, 2, 3, 5, 6, and 12. And for 8 and 9, it would be 1, 2, 4, and 8, and 1, 3, and 9, for 9. I would see the danger in this being um, the students would assume the odd numbers are actually usually prime, and they are only divisible by 1 and the number, which is the definition of prime. So I would include more odds to give them more examples, such as 21, which has multiples, the least common multiples are 3 and 7, 15 or 3 and 5, 24, or excuse me, 25, which is 5 and 5, 49, which is 7 and 7, 27, which is 3 and 9, 45, which is 3, 5 and 9, and 63, which is 7 and 3 and 9. Including these numbers would show the students that odd numbers are still often in a category where they can be um, it, you know, multiplied by other numbers and have least more common multiples than just uh, assuming that they will be a prime factor.